Six years ago, 28-year-old Brandi Kirby was homeless and pregnant with her seventh child after losing custody of her six others. Like many moms, Brandi Kirby enjoys a Saturday spent with her kids reading and playing. But there's a dark past behind that smile, beginning when she was just nine years old. I was playing outside and I heard the window break on the other side of the house. So I ran to the other side of the house and I seen flames shooting out of the window. Her young siblings, just one and two at the time, were playing with matches. They never made it out. It's a vivid memory that steered her mother down a road of drugs and alcohol abuse sent to prison soon after. And Brandy followed, pregnant with her first of seven <laughs> children at just 14, another at 15, all while living from couch to couch, marijuana and cocaine slowly creeping into the picture. Her children all forced into foster homes. And I was actually walking down the street one day and I, I said a prayer um, and because I didn't know what to do at that point. And I actually ended up in handcuffs 15 minutes later and I went to jail. For 30 days arrested for trespassing into an abandoned building where she slept. When I was in there, I said to myself, I just, I can't do this. I'm going to do everything I can to get myself out of this situation and to break this cycle because I couldn't, I couldn't bear going through losing another child. It was a turning point she needed. Brandy sought help from the Catholic Charities in Sharon, Pennsylvania, who referred her to the Prince of Peace Center for Homeless Women. They gave her a place to stay, and the rest was history. When I first lived there, I would go, I would wake up in the middle of the night, and I would go into the rooms, and I would turn on the lights just to look and make sure it was real. And I remember how it felt to sleep in a bed and to have a dresser to put clothes in because I had lived out of grocery bags. And six years later, having a home of her own in Farrell, Pennsylvania, a supervisor position at Eaton Park, and custody of her seventh child, Alasia, comes as more of a surprise, a story she hopes to lift up other young women in the same way she needed not very long ago. We do um, speaking engagements, and basically I talk to the students, I tell them my story, I tell them some of the very bad things that have happened to me. What kept me out there for so long was I didn't have any support. And these people just held me and held my hand and taught me how to live again.